fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Fantasy Raise Buckle from Kamen Rider Geats. Now this is the Raise Buckle used for Kamen Rider Nago's final form. You see a picture of it here very prominently on the right side of the packaging. Uh, but before that, if we spin the box around, it was used by her father, who became Kamen Rider Gyago. So you have Nago and Gyago. Uh, <laughs> it does come with the core ID for Gyago as well as the buckle. Uh, and since this is a premium Bandai box, they kind of did a two different versions of the front of the box. So whichever one you kind of prefer, you can pretend is the front of the box. There's no typical back with like the directions of how to use it and whatnot. Over here on this side is a picture of the two of them. Over here it just says Fantasy Raise Buckle. Up top showing the Fantasy Raise Buckle connected to the driver. And then over here telling you the contents. So of course you have the Fantasy Raise Buckle and then you have the core ID for Gyago. Those are the two things that come in the box. Does not come with a Nago core ID, but if you've been collecting the line up until now, you should have the Nago core ID from the Beat Raise Buckle. Down here, just some various warnings and whatnot. Uh, no batteries included because there are no sounds in this, which is interesting. So we'll get to that. But yeah, pretty standard packaging here. I'm going to go ahead, get everything out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here's everything that comes included in the box. We have the core ID for Kamen Rider Gyago which looks pretty good. It is done in a kind of a gold plastic with some nice navy blue paint on the front. That's about it for that. And then we have the Fantasy Rays Buckle. Now, in my opinion, this is a heavy retool of the Ninja Buckle because it works very similarly. You pull this out and then this is going to spin. For quite a while. There we go. And as I mentioned previously, there are no electronics in this. There are no added sounds. Uh, the Desire Driver can actually read this on its own, which makes me think that this was planned for a while and probably would have been part of the main line, but they kind of ran out of time. And so it got pushed to Premium Bandai. That, I don't know that for sure. That's just a personal guess. Uh, but it looks good. I mean, a lot of nice gold paint here. I think that looks really sharp. I like the color scheme, the gold and the navy blue. A little bit of chrome here. On the top of the dial, usual white paint over here. But yeah, not really too much to talk about with this one. So let's go ahead and bring in the Desire Driver. So just like with Tycoon's core ID, I don't have Nago's handy, unfortunately. But we have one in the box, so we'll go ahead and use Giago's here. So since it is mostly opaque, no light really shines through, but still looks pretty cool. We'll go ahead and pop this in. So there you go, we are transformed into the uh, fantasy form. I do like that little when you first pull it back, and I think that's really fun. Um, so there we go, we're transformed, we do this again, we get the attack sound. And then we get Fantasy Strike, and that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to be done with this one. You transform, you attack, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, there are no electronics in this, so there's no phrases or sound clips or, or extra sounds or anything like that. Uh, and the fact that the driver knows this really makes me think that this was planned long in advance, because obviously all the sounds have to be in the driver before they release it. So it kind of makes me wonder why this was a premium Bandai release and why it wasn't just part of the main retail line. Except for the fact that, you know, I think they just, they run out of allotment slots. Like, they're, everything's kind of planned out and they just kind of ran out of room for this. And so they pushed it to Premium Bandai. And so basically getting a standard DX buckle for an inflated cost, which is kind of a bummer. But they did throw in the extra core ID. I guess that's something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that this one does. Uh, for fun, we'll go ahead and we'll try it with a couple other buckles. Fantasy and boost. 
And just for fun, since this was primarily used by Nago, we'll team it up with the beat buckle. I don't know why the beat one was giving me so much trouble. I think I was probably doing it the wrong way because it's upside down, so it's throwing me off. But yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much it for this one. Unfortunately, not as much going on with this one as we've seen in the previous couple of buckle releases. Uh, I kind of wish this had sounds of its own just because then they'd be able to pack in some character phrases or some background sounds or just something to give it a little bit more. Uh, I really feel like this could have been a normal retail release and I really think the only reason it wasn't was because they ran out of like spots for the release calendar and this got pushed to Premium Bandai when it probably didn't need to be. It's a little basic for a Premium Bandai item in my opinion. They did throw the core ID in there to try to beef it up a little bit, but just not really that exciting. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it looks great. I think the sounds you do get are nice. It's just when I get something as a premium bandit item, I kind of expect a little bit more, and this feels very kind of bare bones. So what you get is good. I just feel like for being a premium band, I release it's not that much. If this had been in the main line, I would have been perfectly happy with it. And I mean, I am still basically happy with it for the most part. I just feel like it was a little overpriced. So I would say for this one, maybe try to find it on the secondary market. Maybe look for it at Mandarake, Yahoo Japan Auctions, Japanese Mercari, something like that. See if you can get a little bit of a deal on it, because there's just unfortunately not that much playability going on with this one. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.